8,300 pounds. This is the best selling J Flight 32 BHDS by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And if you want to see if we have it in stock and how we have it equipped, because it could be equipped very different from what you see here, these have a wide variety of options. Please visit the link in the video description right down here. And that will whisk you away through the internet, show you what we have in stock, and what we're asking with its equipment package. And understand, our pricing is real pricing. We do not have extra fees for things like freight or destination charges, prep fees, starters, bundles. Our price is a real price. The only thing you'll expect in addition is just mandatory state fees like sales tax and tags and etc. We are a transparent, easy to work with place. We only do everything at Halet RV, hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, etc., and everything in between. Truck and trailer package deals. We'll park it in your front door. Well, hopefully your driveway. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. Anyway, so let's focus on why the J-Flight is and has been the number one selling RV on the market. Not just travel trailer. Number one RV, period, end of sentence, since 2005 and counting. That's like 12 consecutive years or something like that. It's terribly impressive. So the big answer, you know, why? Big question rather is why? And the big answer is, there is no big answer. It's a hundred little things. They make a, they do a hundred little things a little bit better, a little bit different. Things that are more appealing to a uh, general consumer. Like you saw that extra tall, extra wide baggage compartment up front so you can get your big stuff in there. Um, you know, one touch power awnings with LED lighting. That kind of stuff, uh, J-Flight brought to the, the mainstream market in travel trailers before anyone else was doing it. It was a fifth wheel only thing. J-Flight said, let there be light under the awning. And there was, and it was good. Um, little stuff like this up here. They were one of the first to, to really standardize larger propane tanks on a travel trailer, fifth wheel size tanks on a trailer. Actually, this has a lot in common with a lot of fifth wheels. It's not far off of its Eagle um, cousin in the J-Flight family, uh, which is really a, a luxury fifth wheel in a small package. Well, this is kind of the same thing. It has a lot of those same features. They mirror one another. But here's a big difference. Jayco rides on an entirely different chassis from anything else in the business. You want a good house? You start with a good foundation. Jayco has theirs specially engineered specifically and only for Jayco. Every chassis Jayco's ride on is exclusive to Jayco. They don't buy them from a generic magazine and say, yes, give me three 28-foot chassis. Um, so you notice, too, that the, uh, the A-frame here is integrated. That's one of the giveaways that this is custom engineered. Um, what that does for you is it allows for a lower center of towing gravity because the, the, the whole trailer sits lower. But if you look at the spec sheet, you're like, what are you talking about? They're just as tall as anything else. That's because J flights are taller inside without being taller outside due to that lower floor. They don't have a taller ceiling, they have a lower floor. Now, black tank, flush, outside, shower, 18 gallon per hour water heater. Again, J flight was the trendsetter on that. Everybody else is tagging along in that trend. Um, the biggest thing I can talk about here, and this is uh, a very exclusive feature really to J-Flight, there are very few trailers that come close to matching this, and that is that Jayco has double the warranty of industry standard. And there is no one with a better, longer warranty. There is no such thing as a real three-year warranty in the business, guys. If you want more uh, details on that, you give me a call and I'll explain it. Um, it's a uh, ugly marketing gimmick that's out there. Jayco doesn't play games. Neither do we at Halitz. Everything is transparent. Our pricing is transparent. Our offerings are transparent. Everything is right here in front of you. I'm going way out of my way to educate you on a trailer that, you know, you folks may not pick up the phone. Uh, I'm okay with that because the ones that do, you folks know that we're treating you right here at Haylet RV. You know, we, we service what we sell and everything else. That's why we have all our service bays and techs and everything else. Now, <clears throat> stuff like this. Ooh, she's got a dirty bumper. The uh, hitching uh, on the back here. It's a uh, accessory receiver that you can add on to a J-Flight as an option. Again, there's a lot of optional stuff shown here. This is typically how we're going to equip them at our dealership. This is a general stock unit for our dealership, but that doesn't mean that we can't get one for you or build one a different way. That being said, lead times on orders are extraordinarily long right now. I'd recommend trying to see what we have in stock and working off of it from there. A lot of times little things can be changed. Little things are not hard to add. Um, the windows, you might notice, are all UV tinted. Uh, they also all open for airflow, even that tiny window up in the bunk, which is very uncommon in this business. Why do I mention that? Well, because not 
all RV windows are tinted, especially in a uh, common constructed class like this versus a, a laminated type trailer. A lot of times, not all of the windows you see like this are in there. J-Flight uses more windows and they have more lighting. Those are two very expensive things in the RV business. I can definitely, definitely, definitely find you a less expensive RV. You're going to start giving things up like the warranty, the windows, the LED lights inside and out. Guys, understand that luxury fifth wheels, not all of those have standard interior and exterior LED lighting. That's a safety thing and a convenience thing that J-Flight does that a lot of brands don't. Um, I love their big outside kitchen. Uh, there's you know advantages to the big outside kitchen, advantages to a low profile, smaller outside kitchen. Um, the big outside kitchen is generally preferred in the market and I think it's because it gives you the bigger refrigerator. This gives you the place to keep all the bottles of water or pop or soda or Coke, depending on where you live, what you wanna call it. You know, up here we call it a shopping cart. You get down around Texas and it's called a buggy. You know, we have different words for different things. <laughs> but we all like to drink. You know, well, that that came out sounded like we're all alcoholics. <laughs> Not my intention, you know what I mean. Um, so, good storage outside, even the outside kitchen. That's another thing. And notice this kind of stuff. Like, we actually have strutted cabinet doors. And you'll see that inside, outside, every side. That's just something that Jayco does on these things. Again, there's some nice fifth wheels that don't have things like that. All of our cabinetry is pocket screwed. Let me see if I can give you a good look at that. If you look back there, you can you might be able to see where it's actually screwed together. That keeps it from falling apart. A real sink is a popular thing in, in the full-size outside kitchen. It's because it, it actually has a drain. It goes to a gray tank. You don't have to, like, flip the dog dish out. They've got a big open space here. And it's nice and wide open. There's power outlets over there. And it is designed to be able to, um, if you want to put blenders or something out here, phone chargers, whatever, it can do it all. If you're not going to cook with this, it can just become counter space or, or set your drink down on it space. Neat little update uh, this time of year. You flip this little switch and there's this little blue LED. And you look at it and you're like, that is not impressive. Not during the daylight. When it's nighttime, however, it'll make this whole white, well, well very, not white, but very light back glow. And you'll be able to see and navigate this at night without flipping on a bright light and attracting gnats that you can then eat and choke on. You know, good stuff. Um, all the drawers, inside, outside, again, all plywood box constructed, not the particle board with a sticker wrap. I can find you a cheaper trailer. You're going to give up certain things. It's a hundred little things that define the J-Flight. That's why I like them here at Jayco. There's no one overarching quality. The warranty's a big one. I'll, I'll give it that. Um, the uh, cap or handles here, they're actual handles. They're actual poles, not knobs. Little stuff like that adds up. But start counting up how many knobs are in this entire camper. And then multiply that by like the 12,000 J flights that they build last year alone. And you understand that's a lot of money. Porcelain, foot flush. Um, you know, you get that upgrade here in the Elite package. That's another big upgrade. This has the Elite package on it, which is like a comprehensive bundle of upgrades. Does a lot of things for you. So people are wondering sometimes, it's becoming more common now. It's less of a concern. Why is there a toilet outside? And the answer is, because it's really convenient. The toilet and the refrigerator are the two primary reasons people come in and out of a camper. Plus, you can shut that door, you can lock it, you can deadbolt it, and it's a great way for the kids to come and go without, you know, getting dirt everywhere. Uh, this year, we have an easy tilt power awning. You can pull it out, and I mean, two fingers, pull this awning arm down and kick the awning down, it'll roll back up flat, come out flat. You can't screw it up if you leave it cranked down. Full length LED lighting, bigger entry handle. Uh, triple hickory step, not the not the steps that'll rip your fingertips off, if you know what I mean. Wider entry door, like a fifth wheel, 30-inch entry door. So you got a bigger, wider, easy entry door in here. Oops, we had a cushion fall down. There are different decors available, and we will probably stock one of just about everything through this season. This is one example of one decor that can be found in a J-Flight. If you like everything in this except the color of the fabrics, Give us a call or visit the link in the video description to see the Halo RV website to see what we have in stock and how it's equipped. Chances are it's not vastly different from what you see here. Basically, guys, would you like brown or browner? This is browner. <laughs> that's pretty much how it boils down. Um, little update, and that's the thing. They, they didn't do anything major compared to last year. Uh, when you're already the number one selling RV on the market by a really wide margin, mind you, you don't go rocking the boat, do you? 
that they did a couple little really sharp looking updates that I really like in these. Um, they added an LED light under the sofa just to kind of brighten that up. But you know what? That is the perfect like runner light, night light at night. If you want to get back and forth to the bathroom from the master bedroom, it's the perfect little see your way through light. How cool is that? That is a trifold memory foam uh, sleeper sofa. That's an upgrade. The um, This is a true King U dinette. Now, there are smaller U dinettes that are literally just a two bench dinette with a small little block bench put in between them. That's not a real U dinette because you can barely sit anybody there. You're lucky to sit three people there and your knees are going to be banging. You can comfortably sit four here because you can sit two on the back, one on each side, plus you can sit extra people up front. So if you got a big family and everyone's eating breakfast together, there you go. Flip a couple little chairs or stools or something out here and you're good to go. Now, um, you'll notice. You have all windows all the way around in your J-Flights. That's another thing I like about them uh, here at Halet RV. I see that as a difference compared to a lot of things, but also the side slide windows open for ventilation. And look at this. Look how they have trimmed these out. Just like a fifth wheel, they have fully trimmed out their windows and it gives it a real sharp, um, I start to use the word luxury and people start to lose their minds, but it gives it a good looking luxury type look here. We've got storage above the sofa. You can flip the seat up. Uh, there's a little storage pocket down inside the height of bed, which is really good for like sleeping bags for extra people who might want to sleep here and need to sleep here. Full size king dinette can fold down into like a seven foot bed. So that can fold down into a two adult sleeper. One super comfortable, two if they know one another. <laughs> um, the, uh, Lighting here, you notice your slide accent lights actually have switches too, which is neat. You've got your little accent light down there. You've got your accent light up here. Um, you don't have to go around manually clicking everything. Actually, that's another thing. I don't know if you caught on to when I walked in here, but um, your, uh, your lighting package in this is really extreme. They have more lights per square foot than anything else in this class. That's a ton of money they invest right there. The table freestanding elliptical. You can take it outside like a picnic table. You can fold it down like a coffee table. Obviously, you can use it like a dinette. You can sleep on it. It just pretty much does everything. And they give you easy access doors to your bench storage. And to make life even simpler, which is really cool for outside use, they have these little slide out totes. Not fancy, not expensive, but super effective and functional. And isn't that what you really need? You need something that really, really works well so you can go camping with your family and have fun. This one gets it done. One of the few, I think, major qualities, I've touched on a bunch of little things, and that's really what defines the J-Flight versus something else. They have so many little touches you're going to love. Um, you know, I carry a lot of different brands here at Halet RV. We have Forest Rivers and Keystones and Coachmans and everything else in between. But this is such uh, just a dominant monster in the market. And little things like this make the difference. It's taller inside. People get in a J-Flight and they go, it just feels bigger. And the answer is, yep. Remember, it's got a lower floor, not a taller uh, exterior. That, this is six foot nine tall inside. And it's got a linear ceiling instead of six foot six. Sometimes you get six and a half feet with a flat, er, flat ceiling. Sometimes you get that bubble arch. Six foot nine with a linear flat ceiling makes more sense because the walls are taller. If the walls are taller, the slide can be taller, the bunks can be taller, the shower can be taller, the cabinets can be taller, and because the cabinets are taller, they can add a shelf in here to double your cabinet storage space. Three inches is a massive difference. It is a make or break thing for some folks, especially when it comes to that whole shower aspect. Um, stainless steel here in the kitchen, again, like a, like a real sharp fifth wheel. And this year they went to this um, <clears throat> chocolate maple uh, wood tones. Um, they darkened this up a little bit, but they lightened up everything else to kind of contrast and compensate. It is gorgeous. I am, I think they nailed it. And wouldn't you know it, there's a lady uh, interior designer at Jayco making these things look good. Little stuff like this. Not only do they have an eight cubic foot uh, refrigerator freezer instead of a six, but they actually still have storage under the fridge instead of just a dead pocket. Now we've got a six foot nine tall pantry over here because there's no such thing as too much storage, but doesn't it help to try? Um, we'll come back to the kitchen in a minute. Right in the middle here, right across from the bathroom, you have what could be a closet, a linen cabinet, uh, space for the kids, all kinds of things. Now below it, you see this right here and you notice there's screws on both sides of that panel. That's because this is an access panel to things like a uh, water heater or pump or something like that. Um, the, things they don't want the kids getting to. Remember, bathroom is easy entry. You can get to it from inside or outside. Outside door has a deadbolt lock. Uh, you, you've just got, you know, easy 
one switch lighting even here in the bathroom. Now another neat thing, look at that. We've got another one of those little blue LED lights. And again, during the daytime, not impressive. At night though, this will glow just enough that you can use the bathroom without having to flip lights on and blind yourself or someone else. There is one major defect in this unit though. This guy. This, 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 this is not pretty. But thankfully you're not buying this, you're buying everything else. Moving on. Um, <laughs> here, taller shower, let me demonstrate that for you because again, I'm 6'3ish, I can stand in this shower all day long. My head doesn't have to be in the bubble, getting a neck crank or anything like that. Comfortable, easy. Again, you don't have to look at me in your trailer, thankfully. Um, bunkhouse. Uh, seems like every everybody and their brother builds a layout like this, guys. So what is it about the Jayco J Flight 32 BHDS here at Halet RV that is just so darn popular? And again, it's a hundred little things. For instance, we have a real sliding door for the bunkhouse. So you can close this door and have what I call a sanity room, mom and dad. Uh, on a rainy day, this is your best friend. Sometimes people ask, why do the kids get the big slide out instead of mom and dad up in the master bed? And the answer is because on a rainy day, kids go to their room. This is their room. Whereas mom and dad, what you do is you enjoy the house, don't you? You sit in the living room and you watch your TV. Well, do you really want to sit in a small enclosed room up front while the kids get the run of the whole house that you bought? Probably not. And, and there are a few models that do that. Jayco makes one. We have them for a few different brands. Give us a call and we can run through that if you want. But this, Jayco popularized this. Everybody and their brother has ripped this off because R&D in the camping business stands for rip off and duplicate, not research and development. This is great because it can only be and do everything. Couch, lounge, sofa, beds. I mean, it, it. well, I guess a couple of those are kind of similar. But you get the point. You can convert this around any way that you want to. Overhead bunk is uh, double strutted. You can see the struts so that it holds itself up. You don't have to be a uh, uh, you know, weightlifter to maneuver this thing. It's 300 pound rated. There's no one that ever exceeds Jayco bed limits. They are the always, always, always top on the market. There might be a couple guys that match them here and there, but they're always top. They also have bedding that is literally twice as thick as industry standard. I used to say 50%, but industry standard got even thinner, so now it's better. And look at this, real wood, plywood, not OSB. That's another thing on J-Flights. They've got tongue and groove plywood floor decking, tongue and groove plywood roof decking, and that, my friends, is really uncommon. Not a lot of guys build a plywood roof deck, even in fifth wheels. Luxury fifth wheel, industry standard, is OSB roof decking. And there's nothing wrong with that. OSB is not the devil. But there's good and there's better. That's what we're looking at here. That's why they have twice the warranty, my friends. Because they are <laughs> superior materials, last a superior length of time. 50% larger, big kid umper bunk. Again, with the thicker mattresses and everything. Redesigned storage and entertainment system here because everything is flat screens and wide screens now. So they widened this up and they shifted everything else over. You still have some good storage over here for the kids. You've got great shelf space down in here. You've got the little shoe garage below. You've got the uh, extra thick ladder that Jayco in-house builds. Strongest bunk ladder in the business, period, end of sentence. Um, you know, room down here for extra storage or like if you let the kids bring an entertainment system with them, a video game system, for instance, with them, you can do all that. We've got central air back here. Again, lots of lights. We've got power outlets galore so the kids' stuff can all get charged. Even one right down here for the extra things they may bring with them. Or a vacuum. I don't know. You can throw a vacuum back here. So we've pretty much killed most living rooms so far. I don't want to bang too hard on that. I just want to give you a nice little look. And then I want to finish talking about the kitchen. I mentioned how we've got a bigger refrigerator here. Eight cubic foot instead of the industry standard six. The sharp looking um, uh, stainless appliances. But look at this new sink they have going on. How like home-like does this look and feel? So you have a standard um, sink cover that fits in place and it's pretty darn strong. Now we have a drying rack, which obviously is all aluminum. Uh, and it's very lightweight also, but with these little rubber grippers, it doesn't, that, that's a technical term by the way, grippers. <clears throat> anyway, don't make fun of me. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you've got a drying rack, so you can set some things here to kind of dry out. You could maybe use it for veggie prep, not sure. Of course, that could be a cutting board too. And this, by the way, is real backsplash, not wallpaper. Um, drawers, 
cabinets. Let's talk this. We've got a space for a wastebasket down here that a lot of trailers lack. And when I talk drawers, count them up. Because I've seen some trailers, and the, the, the competitors to J-Flight, some of the kitchens have one drawer. And there are some brands that have no drawers. Drawers cost more money than cabinets. But wouldn't you agree that it, it's, it's a little bit difficult to put forks, spoons, and knives in a cabinet? You kind of want them in a drawer, don't you? Well, that's what you get here. Plus, we've got big storage there. Monster Shoe Garage. J-Flights have a really big entertainment system because they come with a really big HD TV. Um, the uh, uh, entertainment system recently got updated. At the time of this filming, and understand, guys, that as the model year rolls on, little parts and can sometimes change, sometimes due to part shortages. But the new IRV thing, this, this is Bluetooth enabled. You can get the uh, IRV app. For your phone, your phone can become your Bluetooth wireless remote control. It's got three zone entertainment, so you basically got front cabin, rear cabin, outside. You can turn on and off independently. So if you're watching your Arnold Schwarzenegger shoot him up, you don't blow someone away. This can charge your smartphone, by the way. You've got HD inputs on the front if you want to like add a Blu-ray system. There's all kinds of plugs and hookups down here for everything you need. More outlets, by the way, for phone chargers. Does everything. And have you noticed? They actually finished off the back side of their entertainment center. It spins, so it can face mom and dad at night, so one TV gets double duty, plus uh, it's mirrored. So whichever way it's facing looks bigger, more light, more space, more expanse. Uh, skylight is an uh, option, and it adds a lot of light in here, a lot of ambient light, but if it's really, really cooking you, you pull those shades, and it'll really block a lot of light. Uh, fun fact, science fact, guys. Pulling down a window shade like this literally increases the window's R value more than those extremely expensive RV thermal windows because they're not gas charged. Uh, a normal RV window has like a 0.8 R value. You pull that down and it almost doubles. If you go to a double pane glass, it only goes like to a, a 1.3, you know? That is called the poor man's window pane. And frankly, what's funny is it works better. And man, it looks good all trimmed out like that. Um, bed, true queen. By the way, a lot of folks that build a big, giant bunkhouse like this will try to keep the RV shorter with a camping queen that's 74 inches. 80-inch True Queen Simmons uh, Beauty Sleep uh, mattress here. You know, best-in-class type stuff. You lift this up, and what do we see again? Plywood, not OSB. OSB's not the devil. Plywood is just preferred. It's better. People would definitely... Well, I mean, you, you, you test the strength of it, and plywood has a greater strength across a span. Big side stands with... OS, or oh, with OSB, USB outlets. Huh, I've said too many words that sound too similar here. My point is, you've got big stands for your phone, CPAPs, chargers, all that stuff. His and hers wardrobes. We've got, oh, this is something else they did. One side, they added shelves for extra storage. The other side has your hanging type stuff. This could obviously be converted either way, however. Um, overhead storage, not a shelf. Cabinet, real cabinet. Stuff like that makes a difference. There's so many little things in here. And remember, your TV spins around either way. Talked about a lot. Uh, we've covered a lot of things. There's a lot more to talk about. There, I, I can think of a bunch of things off the top of my head, like the fact that the J-Flights have galvanized steel wheel wells to prevent blowouts. They also have Goodyear tires, which nobody else is doing right now at the time of this filming. Um, you know, they do a lot of things other guys don't. If you want to learn more, give us a call. If you want to take it home, give us a call. If you want to compare from brand AV to C, give us a call. We only do everything at Halet RV, and we carry, like, literally all of the top brands. Whether it's travel trailers or fifth wheels or whatever, we can give you an easy industry cross-cut comparison and an unbiased one because we do carry so many different brands. We're not, we're not stricken to only selling you this one. We can sell you anything, but if you want to see how they compare, that's not a problem. That being said, there's a reason this is and has been the number one seller for so many years. Bump my power button there. Sorry for the splice. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Have a good time.